Elu 29 on the Jewish calendar is September 13th, as you know, on our calendar, coming up in a few days. The eve of Rosh Hashanah, which is actually Rosh Hashanah, begins there on Elu 29. It begins uh, in that evening. It's the Feast of the Trumpets. It's the also a solar eclipse. W what's God doing when he loads up an event with so many things pointing to it, we can't say you didn't warn us. You didn't His warn mercy, us. His mercy, Jim. His mercy. Hmm. He wants us to know. And then just a few days after that date will be the final super blood moon. That's right. On, on September uh, what 28th. Is it? October? Uh, September 28th. I mean September 28th. 28th. Yes. And what do you think? From everything you're hearing, you interview prophets every day. What in the world is going to happen this year, do you think? Jim, it's not only the prophetic voices I'm talking to. It's the, the, the people in the secular business world. Mm -hmm. They're stepping up their warnings. You, you mentioned uh, the, uh, the article that uh, you, you read a few minutes ago. That, that's... Uh, as I said, that's from the London Telegraph this right. morning. Yes. Came out last night. Yeah. Uh, doomsday clock for global market crash strikes one minute to midnight as the central banks lose control. This is the London Telegraph saying today the central banks of the world have lost control. They cannot manipulate things anymore. They do, they're run, they've run out of gimmicks and their, their, their gun has no more bullets in it. Look at the next one. Next headline. This is what I put on our website last night. U.S. gearing up for onrushing economic apocalypse. Soaring U.S. dollar pushes global corporate dividends. U.S. dollar might drop 20% after Fed hike. IMF warns of disorderly correction. What is a disorderly correction? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know? Um, scary. Look at this one. Um, with Russia crash, Saudi Arabia hemorrhaging cash. Huh. And then I'll take it. This is, uh, this is the Times of London this morning. Oil states burn billions as global axis of power shifts. The, the oil producing Arab nations are now floating bonds. Saudi Arabia is borrowing money. No. Who would have thunk it, right? Right. Never, never would have Saudi thunk. Arabia. Maybe they has should to... have tucked a bit away for a rainy day. That's right. But now the Arabs are borrowing money. They're floating bonds, billions and billions, hundreds of billions of dollars in bonds because they don't have the, because the price of oil has come down so much. The, the oil is down because demand is down. Demand is down because the global economy is screeching to a halt. What is the death cross? Forms on the Dow chart. Did you read that? Oh, headline? yeah, there are, there are various omens. I say omens, you know, not spooky things mm -hmm. that happen. But, <laughs> but investors, when they, they you know, they're tracking mm -hmm. um, the, the financial charts. And when they see certain um, things come together in the charts, they call it a death omen. A black, well, black swan, a black swan is an event. But a death omen is when the charts have a particular formation mm -hmm. and there is a high likelihood of a crash. It doesn't mean if one of these death omens appear in the market charts, it, it's not a guarantee that there's going to be, but every time that there is a crash, it was preceded by a death omen. Oh. Mm. Okay, so, so here we are. Yeah. So much is saying in a few days, Something major is going to happen in the stock market. Yes. It's like the people in Greece. Wh why did they have their money in the banks? Why? Yeah. They had been told for five years, Greece is broke. A at some point, it's going to go into meltdown. Wh why, one week before the banks closed, why did millions of Greeks have money in the banks? I don't understand that kind of logic. When they, when they were being told. So same thing here. We're being told the market is going to crash. This is going to be a mega crash beyond anything anybody has seen. Why would you still be in the markets? 